Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run Fallout 2 on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac as a native ARM source port. So this is a version which does not require virtualization, it does not require Wine or Crossover. So it's a completely free open source version of Fallout 2 which has been reverse engineered. So today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install this and get this working on Apple Silicon Macs and this will also work on Intel Macs as well. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the MacSourcePorts.com website and this is a repository for dozens of different source ports where you can download native ARM Apple Silicon versions of various game engines and the one that we're interested in is Fallout. So if you do a search at the top for Fallout then we're going to find the Fallout 2 entry here and then what we're going to do is to click the download button and we're going to download Fallout 2 CE. So this is the community edition, which is a kind of reverse engineered engine for Fallout 2 that's going to be compatible with Apple Silicon and also Intel Max as well. So once we have this downloaded, the next thing that we need to do is to find the game data for Fallout 2. So you can go ahead and find the Steam version of Fallout 2, or you can use the GOG version. So for example, if you do a search for Fallout 2, you'll find the Fallout 2 entry, and this is the Windows version of the game. If you're like me and you have the older version called Fallout 2 Classic in your GOG library, then this might be called Fallout 2 Classic. And the main difference is that the new version does not contain a macOS port. That macOS port doesn't work anyway because it's 32-bit. And if we go to our Fallout 2 Classic entry here and click on View Downloads, it will default to the Mac version of the software if you're running the browser through a Mac. However, I'm going to show you how to do it through the Windows version and that should apply to every version that you can get. That's an offline installer. So I'm going to go and click on here, Fallout 2 Classic. And we can download setup Fallout 2 2.1.0.17.exe. 1 1 so in order to extract these files, there's a few methods that you can use. If you go to MaxSourceSports.com and click on Utilities, there's a very cool utility called Extractor, which is basically a GUI wrapper of something called Inno Extract. So we're going to be using this today to extract the files from the Fallout 2 GOGEXE. So we're going to click Download on Extractor here, and then we're going to open this up, and then we're going to double click on Extractor to open and press open here. So once we have Extractor opened up and we have our exe file here, what we're going to do is choose the Fallout 2 exe file, the download and select this file here, and then we're going to output it to the same directory. So I'm going to make a new one here, call this one Fallout 2, press open, and we're going to extract the file. So click on here, and that took a few seconds, and we have, now if I look at app, we have the Fallout 2 files here. So all of that's located there. The next step is to get Fallout 2 CE opened. So we have a file here. And basically what I'm gonna do is to double click on the app file here. And we wanna put it in the same folder as fallout2.exe. So basically I'm gonna drag and drop this into here, close this, and then Fallout 2 CE is there. I'm gonna double click, press open, give it permission to access the downloads folder and now Fallout 2 has opened. And now we're in Fallout. So you can see here, everything seems to work, including the combat. I'm gonna kill some the radioactive ants and the combat, and combat here. And now this is all working fine as we'd expect. And what's really cool about this is that you can play this as a native ARM application, as this is a universal binary. And we didn't have to use Wine or a virtual machine in order to get this to work. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.